let's talk about something good. You're like, Bill, you got the flamingos on. Yeah, because I'm going to tell you something good or I'm going to tell you something good to look out for. So in my opinion, what needs to happen is big altcoins have got to get above the weekly open. Right. So I tried to make it easier for you and give you the levels for the bigger coins. So for Solana, the weekly open is at 58. Now, Solana can go green or better yet, flat out do a reversal. Right. You see those alligator moving averages like the green, red, and blue line. So those moving averages tell you that there's a lot of momentum to the downside. So there needs to be some sort of reversal. Right. And if they did, that could be really good. But if there isn't, right, you're gonna get you're gonna get bit by the alligator. So we're cheering for Solana to get above 58. In AVAX, the weekly open is 3648. Now it is a little bit scary that it does look like those alligator moving averages are just actually starting to go south. So it looks like you know the end of the world in Avalanche, but some of these indicators might tell you that it's not a mature trend. It's not over, you know, it's oversold, but not over. Okay. That's why we want to see green right now. This week, give me some green, right? We get some green, we get some flamingos, right? No green, you get red, or God forbid, it's like a failed week where they try to take out the weekly open and then fail. I don't even want to think about it right? Being bearish is exhausting. Okay. Near the weekly open is $7 and 34 cents. Definitely a level to keep an eye on, right? Near is supposed to be a revolutionary protocol, right? And it's not trading like it is, or it's trading like everyone thought it was a revolutionary protocol and they're not done selling it yet. So yeah, these little 2% rallies, you know, they're nice, but they're kind of pathetic in other ways, right? We got to get these things going up 10, 15% at a time in order to turn these weekly charts.